What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went again for another round of the Trick House, and, uh, well, now it is finally time for us to go up north of Mauville City and, uh, well, explore the rest of Ho of, yeah, Hoenn. What the hell was I thinking? Kanto? No, I was gonna say Kanto. I did make a small switch to my team, and that was I took uh, Yokozuna out of my team because uh, we really don't need him anymore. He already, he already served his purpose when coming in here. Now, once you go up here, you're gonna be seeing two Team Magma members. You're gonna be like, where are we supposed to be? Um, where are we going again? It's Mount Chimney. Stay spaced out, and you'll get scolded by Maxi. Mount Chimney. It'll be a long walk, uh, going along Route 112 to get there. I wish I brought some snacks. Yeah, well, me too, but you know what? It is what it is. We don't really eat in this whole thing right here. So, it is time to go straight to Mauville City, or to Route 111, and, uh, well, we're gonna be, uh, battling some people right here now. If you talk to this guy right here, he's gonna be like, I challenged the Winstreet family, but four matches in a row is tough going. They destroy me. Is that so? Okay, so, let's see. It's worth taking the risk, but right now I'm going to put Raiden in at first because uh, it kind of needs more of the, the training right here. And we're going to be challenging the Winstreet family right now, so let's go right ahead and take on these guys. Hello! I take it you're a traveler. What do you say uh, uh, to taking on our family on a four, uh, uh, a family of four in a series of Pokemon battles? Sure, why not? That's the spirit. I like you. Bring it on. Okay, so here we go. First Win Street family, Vince Street Victor, and he will be coming out with a Taylor. So I chose correctly. Hell yes, okay. Bring it on, Taylor, you pigeon looking mother lover. Alrighty. So here we go. Raiden, the coolest Pokemon ever. Going with a Thunderfang right here. And uh, well, luckily for for Taylor right here, it, it does have a uh, a quick attack and it evades my oh, god dang it. So here we go. Thunderfang. Yes, sir, Rebob. Taking care of business right now. That's right. And Raiden gets more experience points. And here comes a Zigzagoon, and I'm going to risk it right now. Alright. Let's go. Get this Thunderfang right here, and, uh, well... What the hell was that? Oh, it's a Leer attack. Or no, it's not a Leer attack, it's just a... I don't even know what it is. Was it a Growl, or... I don't even know, but... Knowing these Zigzag Goons, they will carry with them uh, a berry. And uh, they're going to be using that orange berry right now. So let's go with a quick attack. Come on, Raiden. Trying to evolve. Probably won't evolve in this episode, but... It's going to get some It's gonna get some good battling and all that crud. So here we go, Thunderfang. Let's get this. Right here. Oh, what, what the hell are you doing? Lowering my attack every single time. That's probably one of the biggest risks that I was taking. So right there, that could have defeated Zigzag Goon. Let's go one more. Big ass Thunderfang. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And uh, defeated the first one. He's like, aha, you're stronger than I thought. Yes, I want more, more money right there. Okay, so he's going to be going inside his room and he's going to be like, hey, y'all. I found a pretty strong trainer. Okay, he found a straight. He called me a strong trainer, guys. My goodness, aren't you young? You must be quite the trainer to beat my husband, though. Now I suppose it's my turn to battle. Bring it on, honey. Bring it on. Okay, so here we go. Win straight Victoria, and she will be coming out with her Roselia. Now, I kind of just, uh... I'm kind of screwed right here, because Raiden doesn't have any kind of effect on this Pokemon right here, so... It's time to switch out. Let's go. Man, I wish I, I, wish I would have had a... Wish I would have had a, a Fire-type Pokemon. Ah, don't worry. I will find one soon. And, uh... We will destroy everybody. Now, it could have been easier if I just used a, a flying-type Pokemon, but... Yeah, I'm not interested in the flying-type Pokemon right now. So here we go. Getting drained of our energy. So let's go with the Confusion attack right here. Get this Confusion. Yeah, buddy. Nearly takes out that Roselia, and of course, they like to... They like to stock up their Pokemon with some good equipment. So let's go ahead and take another Mega Drain, because uh, why not? And, uh, good god. So we're, 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 we're getting screwed over right now. So here we go, another another confusion attack. Let's get it. And, uh, god dang it, this paralysis. Okay. And you wonder why this is one episode right now, guys. So here we go, we're gonna take a magical leave. Come on, stay put. 
destroyed. Okay. So that right there kind of screwed us over right now. Uh, let's go... Okay, I can go... You know what? Let's go with Raiden. It does have quick attack, and I don't think these Pokemon trainers will heal up their Pokemon like that quick, so... Crap! On a crapsicle stick! Ah, oh, jeebus. Criminy! Yeah, I didn't want to do that. I really didn't want to do that, and... Uh... Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get suction padded in here. Oh crud! There we go. You see, we're helping this goddamn Pokemon out. See what happens when you get a little too happy to the trigger. God dang it! Okay, so here we go. Quick attack. Let's finish this guy off. Yeah, buddy. And there goes Roselia. Tough Pokemon. Very very tough Pokemon right there. And look at that. Rating grows to level 21. That is awesome. That's great. That's victorious. Like Victoria. Alrighty. Okay, so who's next right here? She's going in. We've got a strong trainer here. This one's really strong. Okay, so she's coming out. And here we have the next challenger. You're stronger than my mom? Wow! But I'm strong too. Really, honestly. Okay. Let's do this. So here we go. Another win straight. And her name is Vivi. They all start with the V and stuff, and here we go. She's coming out with the Goldeen. Just the right Pokemon for the the whole, you know, for the whole thing right here. Alrighty, so let's go with that Thunderfang right here. Let's get that Thunderfang. Yeah, buddy. Thunderfang. Takes care of Goldeen. Yes, sir. No more Goldeen. And, uh, well, let's see. Winstrip family is coming out with a Numel, a good Pokemon right here. Eh, just another Pokemon that I probably would want to have. So let's go ahead and start using Hydra number two. We, we hardly use this Pokemon right here, but Hydra two. Getting ready to kick some butt right now. Now, I'm going to keep on saying this again, guys. It's like an advertisement and all that stuff. But do excuse the lagginess of this game right here. You know, homebrew, internet-based kind of a, uh, whatchamacallit, internet-based uh, uh, capture card. Yeah, you need to have 100%. And sometimes we don't normally get 100%. So if you guys know the oh, best way of keeping it at 100%, comment down below. You guys already know what it is. So here we go. Continuing our victorious road right here. Kicking New Mill's butt even though we don't have a water type move just yet. Look at that. Takes care of business. Yeah, buddy. And uh, Hydra number two. Level 25. Getting that experience points. And she's going to be coming out with a Shroomish here. Truly wish I had a flying type Pokemon right here now. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with Sage of the Halo because it does have a Bug type attack, and remember, it is still stronger than a uh, than Grass type Pokemon. Alrighty, let's go. Sage of the Halo, Fury attack, or Fury Cutter, and that sounded good right there. And uh, well, here comes that Mega Drain attack. Ah, jeez, okay. So it's gonna drain just a little bit of my energy. Not so much. And here we go again with another Fury Attack. Fury Cutter. And that is the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Look at that. And Zigzags grows to level 19. And it's learning a new move, which is Pin Missile. A nice move. And, uh, well, I'm gonna take away Sand Attack. Sooner, sooner than later, I'm just gonna, like... I'm going to switch out this zigzags because it's going to evolve. I think it, it might evolve in this episode, maybe. Huh, did I lose? Yes, you did, baby. Yes, you did. Okay, so who's next? I think it might be Grandma. This stinks! Snivel! Grandma! Oh, damn, she's bringing out Big Mama. Big Mama's out here, and she's like, How dare you make my precious granddaughter cry? I see I need to teach you a lesson and prepare to feel the sting of defeat. Oh, crud. Big Mama is pissed off, and, uh, well, let's go ahead and take on this Meditite right here. And, uh, well, we're going to be going with Raiden right here. She does have a nice, strong Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and uh, just Thunderfang it all the way. Thunderfang right here. Nearly takes care of that, and, uh, well, it's coming. That attack. Good God. Just like that, Force Palm just destroys my Pokemon right there. So let's go with Hydra number two. Ah, Jeebus. See, normally I would be training my Pokemon up the you-know-what before we get to this area right here. I would be capturing everything and anything 
uh, because it does uh, it actually does help uh, your experience points and all that stuff. Uh, every trainer that you've once battled before, uh, before this whole area, they will want to battle you every single time. So I, I normally take advantage of all that stuff, but I kind of want to wait it off until we get to uh, until we get to Fall Arbor Town and all that stuff because that's when a lot more Pokemon is present and stuff. So there we go, Dragon Rage, take Zap, Meditate. There we go. Look at that. Everybody's getting experience points, and Vicky gets defeated. Whoa! So strong, my granddaughter wasn't lying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She wasn't lying. If you're not in any hurry, visit us a while. Ah, I will. I will, Granny. All right, let's get in there. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to the family right here. Okay, so talk to Dad right here. He's like, you're the first trainer I've seen deploy Pokemon with such mastery. But I'm, I should warn you, my son is stronger than you. He even challenged the Pokemon League. I'll have you know. Eh, well, you guys say that but I still haven't seen him. You guys know who it is? Comment down below. And let's see, Mama's like, Ma or granddaughter, or shit. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Daughter here is like, Mom is stronger than Dad. I'm stronger than Mom. And Grandma's stronger than me. But my big brother is stronger than my grandma is. No, you, you, don't, you don't say. Our family uses the Macho Brace to strengthen our Pokemon more effectively during training. You may not need it, Considering that you beat the whole of uh, uh, the whole of us, a whole lot of us, but I hope you accept it anyways. And here we go. We get ourselves the Macho Brace, a nice uh, item that will actually help your Pokemon get a little stronger, but it will lower its speed just a little. When it comes to Pokemon battles, we're pretty passionate. Yeah, you don't say. And talk to my Ma, big mama right here, and she's gonna be like, "There's no question that you're strong, but if you ever battle my grandson, he'll you'll end up crying in frustration. He's stronger than." Any other trainer we know, you don't say. My grandson must be challenging the Pokemon League right now. No, my grandson, he could be the uh, the champion already. <laughs> Who is your grandson? Again, comment down below, guys. Comment down below. Alrighty, so yeah, this guys was the whole episode right here. In the next one, we will be going straight up to Route One uh, Eleven to One Twelve, and just taking care of business now. I'm going to be healing up my Pokemon and all that stuff, so in the next episode, we will be going over there. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.